Hello, my name is Salman and I work at ABB Robotics in Vesteros, Sweden, and I will be talking about our paper on a systematic migration methodology for complex real-time software systems. The other authors include Associate Professors Alessandro Papadopoulos, Saad Mubin and Professor Thomas Nolte from Melodolan University. In this paper, we try to address the question how to migrate a complex real-time software from a single code to a multi-core architecture with maximum software reuse and minimal re-engineering effort. To begin with, I will try to provide some context and clarify what we mean by a complex real-time software system and discuss the problems one can encounter during the migration and finally some inputs on how to accomplish the migration in a systematic manner. The work discussed in the paper is based on a study involving an industrial robot controller software. It integrates functionality ranging from web service to motion control algorithms. It includes a robot programming language, RESTful communication for interaction with the graphical user interface and PC-based simulation softwares. It also supports real-time communication protocols such as Profinet, DeviceNet, among others. It has close to 140 tasks and over 71,000 methods. Many of these tasks have soft real-time requirements. The periods of the tasks range from 2 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds. Some tasks have dynamic periods where they change their frequency during runtime. The software operates in different modes. The robots are actually moving when the system is in the no normal operating mode. The other modes include startup mode, the system update and configuration mode, the failsafe mode, among others. The average utilization of task is roughly around 35%. As we can see, the software is logically structured in layers. The middleware abstracts the operating system to enable portability of the application code. Further, the system has been developed over many years and has been optimized for performance on single-core hardware platforms. While migration can refer to many different things, we are interested in migrating the existing software from single-core hardware to multi-core platforms. Among many reasons to do so, the prominent ones are to add new functionality to the system, and improve its performance and at the same time reuse much of the existing source code. Oversimplifying, we can basically say that, well, this is not, this must not be so difficult. We know the system requirements and we also have many solutions for real-time multi-core platforms proposed in the literature. And some of them are even supported by many commercial real-time operating systems. However, things in practice are not so straightforward. As I just mentioned, we assume that we know the system requirements, but do we really know them? The, the robot controller software that I described has been developed over many years, integrating a wide range of functionality, gathering all the requirements from all the different components is rather difficult. By the way, when I say requirements, I'm referring mostly to timing requirements such as periods, deadlines, response times, precedence constraints, task dependencies, etc. So as I said, gathering the requirements, gathering these requirements is not trivial. For starters, the architecture doc, doc the architecture documents of the software may not always reflect the implementation. And if we are to rely on code instrumentation for runtime measurements, we run the risk that the instrumentation may have incorrect configuration. Moving on, assuming that we do have our requirements in place, do we know which of the many solutions is the right one? And how do we choose one over the other? And are the solutions easy to implement if they are not supported by an operating system? Will the solutions scale if you want to increase the number of tasks on the number of cores? 
To address these different aspects, we need a systematic approach that supports both understanding the system requirements and in identifying the right solution for implementation to avoid costly rework. To do so, we reviewed existing literature related to software migration and proposed a three-stage strategy that involves architecture migration, implementation migration and verification migration. During the first stage, we focus on the migration of software architecture. In this stage, the goal is to synthesize an abstract system model, validate its accuracy and transform the model for the multi-core environment. In the second stage, the implementation and the verification stage, the goal is to synthesize the goal is to analyze the system source code to identify potential concurrency issues within the code and transform the code according to the new architecture model. Additionally, the existing verification techniques are augmented with methods relevant for a multi-core architecture. In the third stage, we validate the migration process by identifying the validation parameters and measuring these parameters and then comparing them with the values obtained before migration to sort of create a benchmark and to measure the migration process and its success. To provide a holistic solution, we cover different aspects of the architecture migration from requirement specification to architecture representation model for easy communication and maintenance. The whole architecture migration process is divided into five phases, the most important ones being the recovery and the transformation phase, which will address the question of how do we migrate such a complex system. In the architecture recovery phase, the goal is to gather the timing requirements of the systems. To do so, we analyze the architecture documents, the runtime measurements, and to validate the results with the experts. We then create a system model using this information and the chosen representation model from the architecture abstraction and representation phase. Once we have identified the system requirements during the architecture recovery phase, we need to transform the architecture what we mean by transformation here is that we need to identify the right solutions that meet the system requirements. To help with this, we divide the transformation into four steps. Identification of potential solutions, evaluation to check if they satisfy the requirements, ranking of the evaluated solutions based on their performance, and finally selecting the best solution. For the identification stage, Domain experts and real-time literature and support from operating systems is a good starting point. For ranking, we need to identify parameters to rank these potential solutions and to provide measurable definitions to these identified parameters. And then arrive at a consensus on a measurement method after which we rank them depending on their performance on these measured parameters. Finally, we select the most suitable one. Finally, once we have identified the solutions, the next step is to implement them. For some of the solutions, the application components may need not be modified. Middleware modifications can be sufficient. In some cases, however, the application components will have to be modified. An important step then is the verification process. Since the multi-core solutions introduce true parallel execution of tasks, wrong usage of resource sharing and synchronization protocols can have a significant impact on the quality of the system. To address this, we need to augment the verification process with new tests that specifically address these issues. Further, some of the tools that can help in the migration process include Opal, App for MC, Cheddar, Tracelizer, Mast for evaluation and representation purposes. However, the learning curve 
for many of these stalls is rather steep. So to conclude, migration from single core to multi core platforms is rather difficult. Many different software perspectives, ranging from requirements management to real time theory, are required. To make things easier, a systematic approach is necessary. As for future work, since the migration is currently ongoing, we plan to publish the evaluation results of the proposed methodology once the migration process is complete. Thank you for listening and if you have any questions, I guess we will be taking, up, taking them up soon. Thank you.